The family of a Penn State student who died after a night of hazing is opening up tonight. 18 fraternity members are charged, some with felonies. Here's Jerika Duncan. This was murder of our son. They treated him like a rag doll and then they left him to die. Timothy Piazza's family wants the world to know how he was treated during his final hours inside the Beta Theta Pi fraternity house. They tortured him for 12 hours. They let him suffer. suffer. He died a slow and painful death at the hands of these men of principle, as, as they call it. According to this grand jury report, Piazza, a then sophomore at Penn State University, was forced to drink alcohol, fell down a flight of basement stairs twice, and went in and out of consciousness for hours during a pledge night on February 2nd. Much of it was captured on surveillance cameras. How difficult was that to read that grand jury report? It was awful. To know that he was laying at the bottom of the basement steps for any length of time, all by himself. It all is terrible. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Fraternity members waited until almost 11 the next morning to call for help. We have a, a friend who is unconscious. He hasn't moved. And was he breathing? He is breathing. The grand jury report also details an alleged cover-up. They knew he needed serious help. But they decided, you know what, let's preserve ourselves, let's not do anything. And they ordered a cleanup to get rid of all the alcohol, get rid of the evidence. And they were talking about getting, getting rid of the videotapes. And thank God the police got there before that happened. Tim was an amazing man and an even better friend. The Piazza family is finding comfort from the hundreds of people who have sent their condolences. I will miss him greatly. Tim's not just our son anymore. He's, he's everyone's son. He's everybody's son and daughter. The university president says Beta Theta Pi will never exist again at Penn State University. Defense attorneys say they'll let the facts play out in court. The preliminary hearing, Scott, has been moved to next month. Heartbreaking. Jerika, thank you very much.